what's going on guys welcome back to some more reaction today we're starting a new series as you can see band of brothers um so not necessarily did any research on this but um you guys kind of gave me a gist of it like a while back this has been suggested on the channel from way back from like early onset from when i just started the channel was watching um game of thrones it was thrown in here and there um from different um people different subscribers that have really suggested um that i watch this now sorry it took me so long pretty much a year later to get to it but we are here nonetheless i did put out a poll of what tv show should replace rome and this was the one suggested the most based on the suggestions that were already made you guys had a choice and you chose this was most of the comments that were there they mentioned band of brothers um so it is a very quick series um i think it's only like 10 episodes but every episode is like a movie as far as i can tell i think the first episode is like an hour and 15 minutes so um so we'll be here for a while so if you guys don't know my format i do not i do not and i will say this i do not put my reactions on youtube for very good reason okay it's too much i don't want to deal with hbo hbo has um give given me two strikes on my channel in the past um hopefully that stuff get cleared up by um by this october and i don't violate anything and i just completely um turned off by the idea of putting my reactions on youtube guys i know i i know for a fact that you guys would prefer to see the reactions on youtube i really do i really do i wish i could put myself on youtube without without backlash or without putting the channel in jeopardy of lo uh, you know of losing the channel um um so as a disclaimer i would advise you guys go and support them support the show if you have not seen the show go and support it because i will be doing full reactions upload to my google drive and um to bit shoot also so if you have not seen band of brothers i implore you to not watch my reaction i'm saying that because i do not want anybody to think i'm giving away this stuff for free because that is not my intention okay so let's go do this let's go see what band of brothers is all about um i hear it's about an uh, airborne division that's about all i know <laughs> that's about it that's something to do with I don't know. Let's just go find out what it is. Um, before you go, if you've watched the show and you like it, hey man, leave a like in the comment section. Leave a like in the comment section. <laughs> I am so out of it right now. But let's go watch this man and see what it's all about. Um, and then what I do is we take a break. You'll see a break. You'll see a screen right after my intro, and then. You go watch the episode, you go watch, you know, watch the reaction, and then you come back here for me to do a review of that episode, okay? If you like my review, you can leave a like. Leave a comment in the comment section if you love this. Uh, you guys, historical, I think the last his, um, historical thing I did on the channel was, um, what's the name of that show again? Chernobyl. Yes, Chernobyl was the last one I did. I was his well, it, it's not everything in it is not historically correct, but it's it's a dramatization of the events that happened at Chernobyl in Russia. So, um, so this this one is based on a true story also, and we're gonna be taking a look at it. Okay, so I'll see you guys right back here for the review.
all right guys so the the aesthetic is great the aesthetic is awesome i want to say that um i i love how they how they film this feels like the um it feels authentic it feels real very real you know so um props out to the direction of that one episode this tells me the quality already i mean it is hbo so they must have thrown thrown a lot of money um towards this project of course um and obviously you guys loved it if you wouldn't you wouldn't have suggested it if you didn't like it recognize a lot of the a lot of actors in it um actors that i've seen in other tv shows that i watch it's pretty cool stuff pretty cool stuff man um i'm looking forward to learning more about what happened with them so uh, this was introduction you know it's all good there were funny there were funny moments um you know there Sh shimmer is always gonna be that guy man as I said, he's very typecast. He he doesn't really have any depth to his acting, really. He's that one person. Like, he's never going to change. In my eyes, there's really no depth to his acting. There's no layers to it. Um, there's no range to it. Um, he's just that guy. He's um, the dude from Friends. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, he's always going to be that guy. Um, but... Um, he was definitely a, a, an asshole in this episode. He was definitely an asshole, got reassigned, rightly so. He would have led those men to their deaths, okay? He is not fit to lead a platoon, no. Into war, hell no. Maybe I would say, yes, he is fit to get them, to get them ready. But he's not fit to actually go there with him like he can do the job to get him ready and there's a lot of people that do this in, in in the military there's a lot of people that don't go fight but they can train like a <laughs> they can train like like crazy they can train the best and the best and the best and the best of the best but they don't see combat and that's it's not to say uh, um, I'm not saying that all of them are cowards that's not what I'm saying I'm saying that they are times when that's the reason. You get what I'm saying? I'm saying I'm saying it's not a lot of time that that is the reason because they're cowards. A lot of them that you see just train now, a lot of them has seen combat already and getting their guys trained to go see combat. So there's that. Okay, so this episode is pretty strange. Um, straightforward I would say man just introducing the characters and now they're off to go to Europe to um, to go fight the enemy whoever the enemy is but st still don't really know who the enemy is I guess the, I, I get, they mentioned Hitler one of the time so I'm not sure this was around World War One it seems they're taking off from um, from look like they were in England when they left out when they flew out there at the end of the episode I think they were in England uh, so definitely man it is as I said man the um, recognizing the actors and stuff like that's pretty cool um, there were some there were some lessons to be learned in the episode when it comes out to learn about stuff that goes on in the military um, you heard what I said when I was watching the episode that like a lot of that stuff is it's just tradition It's not really that the person is mean You know what I'm saying? You know and don't get me wrong some of them can take it too far and be and be assholes but For the most for the most part. It's really not how a lot of times It's not really how they would want to do things, but it's more of like Carrying on the tradition of how military life is and they kind of forced into doing that or peer pressured into doing that and not doing things their own way you get what I'm saying um, so as I said before man it reminds me a lot of when I was in military school it was totally like that and I know it's not me saying how I was in military school I know it's not anything like you know what you just saw there it wasn't 
like that. Like it wasn't the the training wasn't grueling like that. But when you're talking about PT, getting up early in the morning, punishment for nothing, all of that stuff was included in military school running miles by yourself because of punishment and you have to do it at a at a certain time and stuff like that you know what i'm saying the scattershot punishment for you for your whole platoon for your old for your old for the whole class where one person or two person two people are involved in something and the whole class get punished for it because the whole you're you're accountable for each other in that group and I'm not going to sit here and tell you that that training has not me, meant nothing for me in my life because it actually taught me a lot about discipline, actually taught me a lot about working together as a group to accomplish things. You get what I'm saying? Um, understanding that, you know, no man is an island. You get what I'm saying? So I, I get those concepts very much so because of you know my three years in military school understanding that stuff because you 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 i'm not saying you never you never will be able to grasp that concept outside of being in the military i'm just saying that my curve my understanding of of that stuff what it really really means you know was learned through being in in, in military school so Thank you guys so much for, for tuning in and watching this with me. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it with me. Um, I'm not the type of, if you're new, you know, if you're here for a while, you already know that I'm not the jump up all, you know, all over the place kind of reactor when there's nothing to jump up and down about. You get what I'm saying? Like if something is surprising, then yes, you're going to get a super, re you, you know, I, you're going to get a reaction out of me because there's certain things I don't like to see and there's certain things that I love to see just like anybody else right so um I'm not gonna jump up and oh my god he said that no yeah, that is not me okay and I'm not gonna pretend to be somebody else as a reactor just for views nah <laughs> you know what I'm saying? like who does that a lot of people <laughs> apparently anyways not throwing shade even though I just did. I'm <laughs> just kidding, guys. Anyways, man, it was awesome watching this. Hopefully, I can get to do another episode by the end of the week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Just remember, man, we all out here. It's the Terror Squad. It's Mr. Terror by Reacts. See you guys for the next one. Peace.